Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to the house of God. I know it's strange as we, we come and worship, but we're all together in heart. So come, now is the time to worship. levels holding up. We have one great hope, and that's in Jesus. He's our only hope today. Jesus. 
Jesus, hope of the nations. Jesus, comfort for all who mourn. You are the source of heaven's hope. There's still many battles we have to fight. And this is where we play our part. He's given us weapons of mass destruction. Quite often that's a bad thing in this world. But to Christians, it's a great thing. And our two big guns are armor of God and prayer. We must use them. Firstly, the armor of God. Ephesians tells us, put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. Biblical spiritual warfare begins in us. In the gospel, Paul specifically emphasizes that our spiritual armor does not merely protect against outside evil, it also protects us against the practice of sin. Remember, Satan is a master deceiver, and also his tactics won't be obvious, and neither will his attacks. 
We mustn't think because we go to church every Sunday and lead a good life that Satan won't attack us, because he will. Which is why we must remember and put on our spiritual army, armor before we get in the thick of the battle. Be ready always. Well, to be honest, how many of us put on our spiritual armor every day? I know I don't. But here's what happened if you do. Although the armour may be invisible to others, it's totally visible to the forces of darkness and evil. With our spiritual armour on, we're ready for anything. We are ready to use our next big weapon, our weapon of mass destruction, and that is prayer. These prayers that we put to God, how often have you found that they've answered, been answered when there was no hope, that's because God was there. And with his miracles and our prayers, we can do anything. Prayers are mentioned 375 times in the NIV Bible. That's how important it is. Martin Luther said, to be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive 
without breathing, and also Mother Teresa. Prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting itself in the hands of God, at the disposition and listening to his voice in the depths of your heart. Earlier this year during lockdown, prayer was searched endlessly on the internet. One in four people searched for prayer and one in four people went online to services and joined in prayer, which shows that it's not that far beneath the human psyche that people need prayer. Even in this Western secular culture, prayer is still important to people. Just as oxygen around us is vital for physical life, so prayer is essential for our spiritual health. So if you see, prayer rhymes with air. It's not a coincidence. In Hebrews 4, 14 to 16, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in times of need. Let us come before God. Let us pray. Dear Father, we come before you today with humble hearts. We call out to you in our despair. We need you, Father. You have set out the path of life in your word. Oh, dear Lord, we need your strength to keep us on that path, the path of righteousness. We cannot do it on our own. We bow before you, Lord. We lift our hearts to you. Hear our prayers this day. Help us as we try to navigate a path through all the uncertainty surrounding us. We ask your strength. Be with those who have lost loved ones or who have someone in hospital. We thank you for who have recovered from this illness. We pray a vaccine is soon found. Lord, we ask that you guide and protect our governments as they try to find solutions. We know they must feel helpless and overwhelmed as we all do. And we pray for our queen and her turbulent life she is finding with her own family. We know all families have struggles, but she has to live hers in the media spotlight and that can be so cruel. We pray for our armed forces. Physical battles are still being fought throughout the world. And we pray for our servicemen and women caught up in these battles while worrying about their loved ones at home. Father, we know how powerful prayer is, the weapon you gave us. So we now join together in the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Because we, we come into contact with smaller battles every single day. We're surrounded by them. But here, God has given us the fruit of the Spirit. The Greek, world translate, the Greek word translated fruit refers to the natural product of a living being. So Paul used fruit to help us understand this was the product of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit lives inside every believer. Tell us in Galatians, Galatians 5, 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against each things there is no law. These are our WMDs from God for the smaller everyday battles. With our armour on and inwardly praying, then we draw on the empowerment of the Spirit. God has shown us the way to do his will, his way. Use this fruit to stay strong in times of pressure, possibly peer pressure. To go down the path, you know, is not really right. So use faithfulness. This means staying true to the word of God. Maybe we want something, but we don't really need it. Use self-control. And if someone's been spreading malicious rumours or gossip about it, don't get annoyed and hit back. Choose patience and kindness. If you do this, it tells us in Proverbs, in doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head and the Lord will reward you. This is how we win the smaller battles using the WMDs that God gave us. As we continue to use all of our weapons every day, put our armour on, pray through all situations, and show the Holy Spirit to others through our actions, we would be strengthened in all we do. The devil will find it harder to change our paths. We will show people the hope of Jesus through our words and deeds. So we're ready. Let's go. Onward, Chris. 
Christians we are treading, where the saints have trod. We are not divided, all one body we, one in hope and doctrine, one in charity. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as you old with the crown of us of Jesus, going on before. Sometimes you can find things difficult even then. Remember our hope, our hope in Jesus. Listen to this beautiful song sung by Steph McLeod and Kat Rear. Every time I try to make it on my own Every time I try to stand and start to fall And all those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When the life I built came crashing to the ground When the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus In the waiting, in the searching In the healing and the hurting Like a blessing buried in the broken pieces Every minute, every moment Where I've been and where I've Going, even when I did not know or couldn't see it, there was Jesus. For this man who needs amazing kind of grace, for forgiveness at a price I couldn't pay. I'm not perfect, so I thank God every day. There was Jesus There was Jesus Oh, in the waiting, in the searching In the healing and the hurting Like a blessing buried in the broken pieces Every minute, every moment Where I've been and where I'm going Even when I did not know or couldn't see it there was Jesus in the mountains and the valleys. There was Jesus in the shadows of the valleys. There was Jesus in the fire and the flood. There was Jesus. Always is and always was. Like a 
blessing buried in the broken pieces. Oh, every minute, every, minute, every moment, every where I've been and where I'm going, even when I did not know or couldn't see it, there was Jesus. With the hope of Jesus, and armed with our weapons he's given us of mass destruction, let us be his light in the world today. Amen. May the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each and every one of us as we go through this difficult time today. Amen. <laughs>